be talking about politics. Football, I think what we're well, we'll talk about mixed, uh, martial. mixed martial arts and combat sports because okay. that I think is generally what we cover here. Um, in the that combat is, corner, that is, the name does kind of. What are you looking forward to most? So what not not see? announced wise. Um, we'll, we'll go over that first. So things that haven't been announced that we kind of want to predict potentially predict or just you know our dreams uh for me i'd love to see i'd love to see conor mcgregor return i think that'd be fun it's been a while and i want to see where he's at i don't think he's going to be the same guy but oh hell no no but there's always some energy some you know excitement extra excitement when it's a mcgregor fight that we haven't had in a very long time so you know having him back and um experiencing you know connor mania again depending on who he fights obviously i don't think he's going to be the same guy but i want to see who what what he is what he's still got in the tank you know mm. so that's that's one thing that i'm really excited about yeah i, I think one you're right thing. that 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 return will answer a lot of questions well i mean for me from where i'm sitting i kind of think the reason he's taken so long to get back is just purely it's like a drugs it, well that and now that USADA's out of the, the UFC, that'll probably help his return. But I think, yeah, the, the, the whole training, all, all the training that he's been doing has has not been as intense as I would like to see for someone who's trying to make a, a big return to the mm. octagon and make a statement uh, and have a statement win over. Like, if he comes back and fights Michael Chandler like he's supposed to, it's not an easy fight by oh, any man. means in any weight class. You know, like... He's one of the top, top guys at yep. lightweight. He's had wars with Poirier and uh, Gaethje, and if he was slightly smarter, he could have won both of those fights. Yep. Um, <clears throat> even the Charles fight, he probably he definitely could have won that fight. And these are all top guys who have been active, consistent. Uh, Connor hasn't fought since he... Well, when was the last time Connor fought? It, it was, was Poirier, obviously. Yeah, it was Poirier when he broke his leg. That was about 2021, I believe. Yep. Uh, and in that since then... Chandler has been doing bits, and he's not. I watched that at your down, parents' you know. place. Oh yeah, he did the, the leg break, didn't? That was yeah, the last yeah, fight was... card we watched together. I think probably well, one yeah. of them. That was a, sad. That well, you you didn't really watch the UFC back then. No, no, I didn't. So that was like, I think that was my way point. into it. Yeah, on yeah. Um, so yeah, I honestly, I'd love to see him come back and challenge someone who was like outside of the top ten. But I know that's that's not going to happen. You want to see um, him fight another kind of washed up Cerrone kind of type mm, person again? May not. Just someone who's not as good as Chandler. Chandler is like so good. Up to you. Yeah. So, you know, I'd like to see him maybe even fight like a Max Holloway coming up from featherweight. You know, that's. What, Max, um, Max Holloway at 185? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Max at 185. Get the cookies yeah. going. He always talks about, you know, eating a lot. Food. So He does. He does. He loves his pizza, maybe like, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves pizza, muffins, cakes, and stuff. I think. Really, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, wow. who doesn't, bro? No, I I do, but I just, it just doesn't. He doesn't strike me as a muffin guy. You know, if I walked into a cafe in Holloway, and I yeah. talk to the look to the left, and, and Holloway's sitting there having a, a blueberry muffin, you know, and some caramel slice, well, I would yeah. be taken back. He's never mentioned bit. caramel slice. I'm well, I am. You are okay. So you like caramel slice? I'm just no. Know what to get him for Christmas next well, year? Holloway is another name I want to bring up because that is someone I want to see fight this year in in an exciting event that's not just the headline of a fight night or fighting another guy who's making their way through featherweight. Mm. We spoke a little bit, uh, well, not a little bit. We raved on and on last year about, about him Gaethje. versus Gaethje for mm. the BMF. But it sounds like... It sounds like Gaethje's going to fight for the belt. Yeah, and good on him. Yeah, he deserves like, it. Why would he not? Mm. Um, if the opportunities are there, then yeah, 100%. Yep, if MVP. they're if they're gonna skip Charles, if they're gonna do that, then Gaethje is the rightful guy to take that place. Um, yeah. He's the only other one besides Charles that deserves a shot. And if uh, Islam is real, real big on this idea that I don't want, I want to fight someone new, which is fair enough. Like he's fought Volk twice, he convincingly beat Charles. He wants a new challenge. Fair enough. Fully understand that he's only got a certain amount of time in his career. He wants That's to be, right. beat as many different people as he, as he can. Yeah, he kind of deserves it. He deserves to call the shots a little bit. Oh, I I I, I agree. Yeah. Um, and he to like it, it 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 is a novelty belt, but he does have some silverware behind him now as well. So he does. Yeah. There is some hype behind, and you can put that belt on the line. Yeah, you can market that. Well, no, you could. 
you won't put that on the line against Islam. <laughs> Want to try some words, maybe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He's maybe. not marketable as a BMF. What, who? Islam. What's he going to say that's bad? You know what I mean? That makes him a motherfucker. I don't know. But I'm sure he'd want it. And if you want to say it's a double headline, a double belt event, BMF, lightweight. <clears throat> I don't know. The BMF title is dumb. Mm. Let's be real. And like you say, Islam doesn't want that belt. shit. It's a novelty belt. But surely it would be on the line, right? Because Gaethje holds it. Well, Mars Vidal fought uh, Covington and it didn't go to Covington. Oh, yeah. Suppose and he also fought uh, Kamaru right after he won the belt. Didn't put it on the line. Yeah. So, so no. Yeah. Uh, I don't think yeah. it will go on the line against Islam. Neither. It will go on the line against a marketable person who is a dog. Essentially, who we have. Connor. S- uh, hey, Connor. Connor has he has yeah. Connor doesn't need a BMF belt to be marketable or no. to to have some hype behind him. Will Connor fight for the BMF belt? I could see it happening. He's got the attitude. He's got the the history in terms of like the shit talking and all that kind of stuff. Does he have the brawls in the octagon that we've seen from the the other guys that have held that belt? I don't know. Maybe not so much. Um, yeah, he usually finishes people pretty quickly. Yeah. He usually dominates when he wins. So... I suppose he, the two Diaz fights were pretty bad. They were, yeah. They, and yeah. the Chad Mendes fight was pretty fucking crazy. But... How long I'd ago go, was that? Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but... Yeah. We're talking yeah. about a guy who is, is way out of his prime, unfortunately. So... Yeah. I, I, would like, I would like to see um, Max versus Justin at some point this year. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, if Justin beats Islam then that probably won't come to fruition. But if not, I yeah. think that is the fight if, to If make Charles gets the title fight, yeah, Gaethje versus Holloway for sure. And just have Holloway come to 155, you know. Well, depending on the result. Um, I agree. I'd, like to, I'd love to see that fight. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go out there with another one. Nice. I'd like to see the return of Israel Adesanya. You're all about the returns. I love the return, mate. Yeah. It's a good storyline, you know. I want to see the winner of... Rickus Duplessis and Sean Strickland fight Israel Adesanya. Yeah. I want to see that. I don't want to see Izzy fight uh, Hamzat. I don't think that's going to happen. No. I really doubt that that's... It's just not a fucking good idea. Like, what? If uh, Izzy beats him, then you ruin your your, your new up-and-coming guy. If Izzy loses, then... Uh, I just don't know. There's, there's something about that fight that I don't want to see. I don't know why. I'm scared. I'm not scared. Okay. Uh, well, what... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not fighting. No, I know you're not, but you want to see as he wins. So do I. I get that. But like, Hamzat poses a threat that. Hamzat has one round in him. Saw that against can... Usman. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, I'd like Usman to get another shot at Hamzat on a full training camp. Beefed yeah, up. I think they both need to fight other people first before. Like, their, their paths need to collide again naturally for them to fight again. Fun. I think it's boring to continue matching people up against each other. No, you're right. That's because, you know. You are. But it would be good to see. I, Usman I, took the fight. I feel like Usman should have, he could have beaten him. For sure. Do you not? No, I do. Oh, I was do. just talking. But, um. This guy. No, I, I think. Look at him in his pink shirt with his sweaty pits. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I agree shit. with you. I do think Usman could have beaten him, okay. potentially, on a, on a full camp. But like we've said before, MMA math doesn't work it doesn't work so don't try adding yeah uh, or subtracting but like um, times tables you know division it's it's just not there um no yeah yeah no i I agree they should they should fight some fresh ink um i do (laughs) that fresh ink okay like my shoes by the way they are quite nice snazzy do you want to show them to the people yeah shoes super wow lovely moving on so um yeah i thought them for christmas (laughs) no Usman on a full camp would have been a lot more dangerous, but at the end of the day, he took the fight on late notice. Mm. So, no, yeah, I agree. But I, 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 yeah, Izzy versus Hamza, maybe. Yeah, that's what we're talking. Could about. be an interesting fight. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, segueing right, segueing yeah, just... back. Uh, Izzy versus Hamza could be could be a fun fight. It could. Maybe I'm a bit scared. Maybe. I just don't. I don't think Hamza could beat Izzy. I really don't think he'd win. No, I, I think yeah, the. It would it would have to be in the first round, and it would it would be primarily wrestling, mm. and that's the thing that we've seen when Izzy fights good wrestlers is like 
for someone who doesn't have much of a ground game in the scheme of things, because he doesn't, he has the most incredible takedown defense. Yeah, and just pretty good uh, distance management. It's impeccable, and that's yeah. something that we have seen Hamza take away from people. So, mm. I mean, whether or not he could do that against Izzy, I I don't know. <clears throat> mm. But until they're in there. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, it would have to be yeah. in the first round if he if he beats. I think him. yeah, Hamza has a window of opportunity in a five round fight to be able to beat someone like Izzy. Um, I think it, no, it is a good fight. It is a really good fight because there's a lot of unknowns. Um, but I'm more I'm more excited to see Izzy fight the winner of Strickland versus DDP. Because first of all, you've got a, a rematch that's huge. You know, Izzy is he going to be? Um, is he going to do what he did against uh, Pereira? Come back, charged, ready to go. Great game plan. Knock out Sean in the second Sean. round. Yeah. yeah, potentially. Is he? Could he? Maybe. DDP. That's always going to be a great fight because there's there's a bit of beef there. You know, there's fire. So yeah. either either one of those fights would be huge. And I, I I'd prefer to see that first, and then Hamzat go fight Whitaker or something, and then. Well, that's the thing with Hamza. He's like super unhealthy. Have you seen those pictures of him? Yeah, he's not in a good way. No, he looks sick. Like, and he's always getting sick. He had really bad COVID. I think he overtrains and like maybe he gets sick and keeps training or yeah, something. Maybe. And he's always getting sick and like, you know, it's not good. I feel bad for the guy. He's still young. So he's, still probably, young. he's probably still navigating that whole, how hard can I push myself? Mm. Um, but yeah, I agree. He, he does seem like the kind of guy who would overwork himself. For sure. Um, yeah. But that's better than being the other way around. It is. In some ways, but... Definitely. Yeah. I mean, just objectively uh, looking at it, like, does Izzy deserve to come straight back and fight for a title? I mean, the last time he fought, he was def trying to defend his belt for the first time. Mm. So it's not like... I, I know that he is... I'm not saying... like He is undoubtedly one of the top three middleweights of all time yeah um so yeah don't 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 you know take what i'm don't yeah nice. uh, all right. don't don't take what i'm saying here too seriously but when you've when you've only you've just won the belt you lose your next fight you didn't take a big break do you come straight back and fight yeah. for the title again i think like if if he didn't have that whole thing with uh losing the belt to Pereira and then regaining it it wouldn't be a question <clears throat> like he should he definitely would deserve an instant rematch but because he had that old saga where he did lose the belt and then he regained the belt and then, lost and then he lost away. it again. Then it's, it is a little bit more muddy. Like, oh, come on, we can't just keep giving you rematches. You can't just keep losing your belt and getting a rematch. Because there's other people that, yeah, that, are, exactly. that are at the top there. And that's why DDP is getting his, his shot, which is rightful. But, you know, if he does take a bit of time off and, and maybe he chalks the, the last fight down to, you know, look, guys, it was, a, it was an off night. I didn't train as hard as I should have. I'm going to come back charged. I'm ready to go. That's that's very marketable. Like Izzy's back and he's back on form. You know that's like big. So I think give it to him, man. I, he's he's the guy that I'd want to see fight the winner more than anyone else. I don't. There's no clear number one contender outside of uh, outside of Izzy for the next after this fight. You know. So it seems it'll probably line up with when he wants to return. Chris Weidman. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Brad Tavares as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the guys. You know? These are the guys. Um, but yeah, so circling back, yeah, is he returning against someone unnamed opponent? That's who I, so I'm going to throw into the mix mm. like that dark guy, that 16 year old nice. dark guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who, what, is there anything else you want to mention? Hmm. Any other ideas, smart What's... ideas, quippy little quips that you've got to put out there, little quippy quips? Uh, Kai Kai of France. I, I, I want to see him make a, a another surge this year. Uh, we saw it a couple years ago now before he you know, got beaten by Marino. Uh, Marino, but pretty bad as well. Yeah. Well, no, no, he looked very he good look in that good. fight. He just got, got finish caught. Finish was pretty crazy. That was a cool finish. That body kick was nasty. Info. Marino proved that he was much better than Kai that night. Yeah. Well, yeah, that not yeah. much, but no, uh, he that, was dude, that was that was. That, well, was it a th third round finish? I think so, yeah. Yeah, and Kai had won the second round. Had lost the first, but yeah, yeah. I, I Marino is yeah a great flyweight, and he's proved that time and time again. But I'd, I, now that that the top of that division has kind of changed around a little bit, and we've we've seen a, a bit of chopping and changing, I want to see Kai kind of make his way back up there, and, and yeah, it would be and good. potentially fight the new champion, Pantoja. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. 
I think he could do bits as well. Yeah. He's got power. Yeah. Uh, unlike uh, Roy Val, who, you know, he didn't really have the power to finish off Pentoja with his strikes. He was mm. winning on the feet. Yeah. Uh, someone like Kai comes in with, with heavy hands. Right. Um, could be, yeah, could be good. Could get a finish. I, I, I'll throw something into the mix that relates to that. I'd love to see Kai versus Menel Cap at yeah, I mean, some yeah, point yeah. as a main event on a on a fight night, maybe in New Zealand. That'd be cool. That would be sick. That would be really cool. We'd vlog that. We'd vlog that. We could go watch it and vlog it. Combat Corner Vlogs. <laughs> Combat Corner Vlogs, me and Jackson in a little hotel together. Ooh. That goes down to one of our <laughs> other points <laughs> further down. It does. It does. <laughs> um, we won't spoil that. We won't spoil that. But It'll yeah, just no, happen. Yeah, well, that's just going to happen at some yeah. point. We'll keep the camera on. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So Manel Cap versus Kai Kara That's a bit of a, a, a little bit of a hard on giver for me. That just thinking about that fight makes me a little bit mm. semi. Yeah. So, Fair enough. Main event, five rounds, Kara France. Do it. Yeah. Manel Cap is is funny. I like the guy. Yeah. He is. He's and we've talked about it. He is the the fire that the flyweight yeah, division yeah. needs underneath it. I was actually I I got a video recommended. Didn't watch it because I was working. Good on you. But um, yeah, that's dedication. There was a video I got recommended. Is Kai is Menel Cap the the savior for the one twenty five pound division that we need? Oh, so our listeners are making videos now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at my arm. This yeah, these chair. chairs. These chairs are bad for it, mate. Yeah, like that, spotty. Uh, they're quite they're nice chairs, don't get me wrong. Yeah, what do you think of the I chairs? I feel comfortable in this chair. Yeah. I don't have to move around too much. It's yeah, nice. Great. Uh anything else? Well, I suppose yeah. Anything we, else? We covered a few. I'd like to see Volkanovsky win. Yeah, that's would not be been good. announced yet. <laughs> not been announced. Not been announced, but when that happens, I can't wait he to see. He got a win that. last year. He did, but I can't wait to see him beat um Loudmouth Poirier. Yeah. yeah. Because he's going into that fight like he's already won. Yeah, I know. It's... He thinks he's the champ already. I'd love to see him I get I think that's the out. play he needs to make, though. Yeah. In terms yeah. of, you know, like, no one else has done that against Volk, and at, at featherweight, at least, no one's been able to yeah. take him out. So, yeah, I think this this could be the play, and especially after he's just spoken out about some mental health concerns, you know? Yeah. Maybe it's the time to kind of, Play into play, trying to get into his head a little bit. I hate to say it because I obviously want to see Volk, <clears> but he's trying to win. And I like Volk as a guy, but yeah, if Tapori is going to want, if, if he's trying to win, you need to get into the guy's head. Yeah, you need to do all you can to to make it happen. And and look, yeah. Tapori is no hating Taporia. I actually really like his fighting style, and I think he's he's good for the sport. He's he's entertaining, but very talented. It's just yeah, the way he's coming into this fight, it's just a bit like if this play, if it pays off, you're going to look like a don, a genius. If but it if, doesn't, if it doesn't, you're going to look like a dickhead. You may as well retire. Yeah, yeah. literally. Because <laughs> the way he's been talking about it, the yeah. promo stuff that he's been putting out there, like, he, yeah, he needs to win this fight. And yeah, if you do lose, like like we just said, like, it's it's not, like, if say if you respectfully build up this fight with Volk and you lose, it's so much easier for you to, you know, put your head down, win a couple fights and get, get right straight back, back to yeah. the belt. But if you're a piece of shit about it, the whole fucking fight camp, no one's going to want to take that fight again. Do you know no. what I mean? Like, And you're, everyone's going to clown you for being delusional. That's right. Like, yeah. And you're going to end up fighting some, you know, 10th ranked guy next. Mm, yeah. Um, you could potentially lose because the whole, you know, the whole MMA community is against you now. Yeah, exactly. And that um, adds a lot of pressure. But he's setting himself up to win. He's putting all his chips on black. Uh, Tapuria is. And, you know, if it pays off, it pays off, and it's going to pay off really well if it does. But if he loses. You know, he's, he's, he's putting all his chips on black. Mm. That's the best way to, to think. He's, he's either going to win or he's going to lose. And wow. <laughs> deep it's, analysis. Yeah. Wow, if, he, if he win, if he knocks him, if he knocks how out. Do you think Volk, he, how do you think he finishes Volk if he does? Um, probably a knockout. Knockout? Flipping him like yeah, like a knockout, knockout. Like a he has to finish him by a knockout. I, think. Okay. I don't see him winning on the ground, uh, although he's got really good grappling in jujitsu. Just don't see it happening. Mm. Uh, Volk, I mean, yeah, if Volk can get out of that, that you know, if Volk can do what he did against Islam. Well, you know. I was more going back to Brian Ortega. Oh, yeah, but, that, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Volk has proven that his grappling ability is is amazing. Yeah, it's top notch. Like. His Islam, head will Ortega. pop before he goes unconscious. Yeah. 
And then he'll just grow a new one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'll just go, and then he'll slip out. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Too late. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, yeah I has got to be a knockout. Uh, his, oh, man, his hands against Josh Emmett were just way too clean. Um, mm. So, yeah, I, I agree. If, if Deporia is going to get it done, I think it will be a, a knockout. Yeah. Um, or... Yeah, I, I don't see him outworking Volk for five rounds. No, I don't see neither. anyone in the featherweight division outworking Volk for five rounds. So, yeah, yeah I think it's he has be to, done. He has to knock him out. Mm. Uh, and I think <clears throat> Volk can, can win a decision or he can finish him. Uh, I think if Taporia finishes Volk, it's more than likely going to be in the first two rounds. If, if Volk is to finish Taporia, it's probably more, gonna, more likely to be like the third or the fourth. Mm. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We yeah, will he, kinda, he dismantles his opponents, doesn't he? Yeah, before we've getting seen him, finished. We've seen him do it against the, the Korean zombie. We've seen him do it against uh, yeah. Max Holloway in that last fight. Even yeah. though he didn't get the finish, we there were some big moments yeah. in that fight. Where, and Max had nothing towards the end. That's right. So, yeah, Volk, it's the kind of guy who will get in there, get a grasp of you, and then just slowly <coughs> take away your you tools off. to the point where you're like, shit, I'm, I'm yeah, got nothing. I'm now three down, uh, three rounds down, and there's a minute left in the last, and then you just see it, like you just see people get dr- dr- just drained, like yeah. mentally, physically, everything. They're just like, who is this guy? Exactly. And and then you just out game plans them as well, yeah, but in a big way. Um, so that's very exciting to see him win again. That will be very nice. Um. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this short episode of Combat Corner. If you like what you see, we've got lots of long form content below and lots of other videos like this. So feel free to go along and check it out. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share it around. Have a good day. Peace.